Tyler here with GP Knives and we're back again for the weekly update. We're going to start out this week with the newest rendition of the Little Native and this one is just the black DLC with the fully serrated blade. Same compression lock mechanism here, all black hardware and wire pocket clip that is reversible for tip up right or left hand carry. Ambidextrous opening with that Spyderco round hole and just a very smooth and compact little folder. Great EDC. You get a lot of control with the index finger choil and you can really choke up on the blade thanks to the lack of a thumb ramp here. So a lot of power and a lot of control in a very compact package. And this is of course made in the USA. Next up we have the new Spyderco Hanan. This is a new compression lock flipper design with Brad Southerd. So this is going to be similar in size to his Positron folder that was discontinued this past year. If you had an S30V blade with a nice heavy stonewash finish. And you can see it's kind of a bright polished stonewash there. You've got the trademark round hole. Just a very small one here as this is primarily designed as a flipper. Titanium bolsters with polished G10 handles, titanium liner construction, and a black G10 backspacer, and then a reversible stainless tip-up only pocket clip. And you can see it's got a bearing pivot and fast and smooth deployment on that. And again, this is a compression lock folder so take a quick look there you can see there is a chamfered cutout for the compression lock and then also plenty of jimping on there to provide a very smooth disengagement of the lock so a great little compact edc flipper you've got a nearly full height flat grind on there a little bit of a recurve there so a nice fine point fairly robust but going to be an excellent slicer here and if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my overview on this knife. This is the Kershaw Natrix in carbon fiber. This is the new KVT pivot variation, so bearings instead of the speed safe assist. As you can see, well tuned to detent, fast and smooth deployment. Carbon fiber with blue gray G10 scales, and of course the patented sub frame lock, and then a nice stainless steel deep carry clip set up for left or right hand tip up only carry. From the same family, we have the Zero Tolerance 0095. This is the tan and black variation. This is a sprint run in S90V blade steel. You got a, a nice tan or bronze DLC coating on the blade. Black DLC coating on the titanium handles. Open back construction. Little surprise pop of color with this bright green barrel spacer on the back and then a zero tolerance pocket clip set up for right or left hand tip up only carry and this has got kvt bearing pivot as well again fast and smooth deployment via that integral flipper tab and then you've got a high height saber grind with a harpoon clip point blade a nice sturdy tip while having a fairly thin blade stock and a high height grind. It's gonna make this an excellent slicer and have plenty of piercing performance. And we'll also take a quick look at this. This is the new Sparrow from RMJ Tactical. A nice little compact fixed blade, similar to a burden trout style knife. Nice long thin blade with a tapered point. You've got a mid height hollow grind here, a fairly deep hollow. And then you've got a nice thick stock at the spine. So you're going to get durability as well as cutting performance thanks to that grind. Cerakote finish on here to add corrosion resistance as well as being non-reflective and pretty durable. This is actually made of Nitro V which is similar to AEBL. It's going to take a very fine edge sharpen fairly easily and be highly corrosion resistant on its own. So this is a great outdoor field knife. 
You've got contoured and milled textured G10. This is the Dirty Olive, which is OD green and black. We also have it in the Hyena Brown and the All Black. Stainless steel rivets here connecting the scales. And overall, this is just a great lightweight and very secure and maneuverable fixed blade. Also makes a great outdoor option as well as an everyday carry fixed blade. And you can see it's set up with scout style loops here for horizontal belt carry and a nice custom molded kydex sheath. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your weekly update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.